people of God, spiritual warfare is real. And we must begin to understand and begin to confront it the way it is. Do not be deceived. If you deceive yourself, there are a lot of people that think that it doesn't. But it does. The Bible says it went into prayer. For you to have weapons, there are weapons of warfare. And the Bible says in the book of Jeremiah chapter 51. Let's open our Bible to Jeremiah chapter 51. Jeremiah chapter 51. Weapons of warfare. Jeremiah chapter 51. Are you there? The Bible says, verse 20, You are my battle axe and weapons of war. For with you I will break the nation in pieces. With you I will destroy kingdoms. With who? The Bible says, with you. When you are talking about weapons that God wants to use, you are the one. Tell your neighbor, I am, I am the one. Come on, tell somebody, I am the one. I am the one. Sometimes people want to fight in the spiritual warfare, but they don't want to be included, and it doesn't work. Praise the Lord. That is the reason why you have people running after scared and looking for who to pray for them, but they don't want to be involved. And it doesn't work. The Bible says it's you. Then what fear started with what? With you. He said, You are the weapon. You are the battle house. You are the one that he wants to use to break to pieces, to destroy the powers of darkness, to put them where they belong. You. So who is God in need of? Is in need of you. All he need is for you to stand. I said, No. I am about to ask in the hand of the Lord. Who are thou, O mountain, before me? I begin to make a declaration. I begin to walk in the spiritual. Praise the Lord. You are the first weapon in the hand of God. If you are not ready to fight for what belongs to you, the devil will take it. If you are not ready to fight for what belongs to you, the devil will snatch it from you. Hallelujah. You must be ready to fight. When you stand, heaven stand. When you say, I am ready, heaven say, we, we have your attention. Hallelujah. What is next? What do you want us to do? That is when you stand. But today you have a lot of wrong Christians. You don't run. You confront every situation. Hallelujah. Amen. Can you imagine if David had run? Amen. David refused to run. He said, I am not a coward. I know the God that I serve. Who are thou on circumcised Philistine that you should come against the army of the Almighty? He confronted him. Hallelujah. He take the battle into the spiritual. Hallelujah. He take the battle into where? Spiritual. The Goliath himself said to him, he said, today I will give you and I will give your flesh to the birds of the air. For the God to eat. And David too said, okay, you come against me in the name of your God. I come against you in the name of my God. Mm. Hallelujah. He turned the battle into spiritual. It is no longer a, a battle of sword for sword. It is a battle between two gods. When you begin to rise as a child of God. And you begin to take the battle to the enemy's gate. Not running from them. Take it to their gate. Mm. They are bound to bow. Are you hearing me? The Bible says, at the mention of the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. Praise the Lord. They shall bow. So you are the first weapon. You are the first weapon. You are the first weapon. The second weapons of your warfare is your prayer. Your what? Prayer. The Bible says, they rise up and they were praying. Constant prayer. Read the word. The word is what? Constant prayer. prayer. It's not that they didn't pray one time. They didn't pray for five minutes. The Bible says it was constant. That means that if they are taking Peter today and they put him in prison today, waiting for the next day, they were praying constantly. 
Sunday. That means either every hour, every two hours, there is a prayer going on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Constant prayer. Where are you in your prayer life? Constant one, prayer. That is your weapon. The enemy, there is no other weapon. I tell people all the time, I wish that uh, there are other things, there are other ways, but there is not. This is all that Jesus left for us. Prayer. The Bible said they pray. And when they pray, the heaven release emergency angels. Amen. Emergency help us. Hallelujah. Emergency assistant. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. To go and do the work. When you begin to pray, heaven begin to move. Amen. When you begin to pray, things begin to happen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Pray. Pray. Luke chapter 22. The book of Luke chapter 22. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Lord, I give you the glory. I give you the honor. Luke chapter 22. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Verse 31. The Bible says, And the Lord said, Simon, Simon, indeed, Satan has asked for you that he may shift you as we. But I have prayed for you that your faith should not fail. And when you have returned to me, strengthen your brethren. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Jesus himself is the one speaking here. He said, Peter, the enemy is looking for you. Satan has asked for you. Satan has asked to take you away. Satan has asked to derail you. Satan has decided, hallelujah, to shift you. To wipe you off. To shake your faith. To see where you are. But guess what Peter? I have prayed for you. In other words, it's going to happen. But I have prayed for you. That prayer that Jesus said ahead of time. Was what saved Peter. Was what kept Peter in the faith. If that prayer had not been said. Peter would have been lost. We would not have heard of Peter again. But because. The Lord Jesus take time to pray for you. When it happened, Peter bounced back into faith because he was prayed for. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Satan is still at work and we cannot be ignorant of that. Yes. To be ignorant of that is to endanger our life and say, well, nothing happened. Oh. Hallelujah. Amen. You cannot ignore the fact that he's still at work. And he's still asking, seeking whom to devour. And we as believers must rise up with everything in us and begin to pray. Pray concerning that thing. What is it that Satan has hindered from you? What is it that Satan has decided to make sure that it's scattered? What is it that Satan has decided that you are not going to have? You can rise and pray. You can rise and say, it's going to happen. And you cannot stop it. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible says, Jesus said to Peter, I have prayed for you. And that is why when it happened, the Bible says, quickly, Peter recover. Hallelujah. Amen. Peter did what? Recover. Why? Because a prayer had been said for him. Amen. Hallelujah. There are many many things that would have happened if not for some prayer you have said before there are some things that the enemy would have gotten away with if not for some prayer that you have said sometime sometime ago or that somebody said on your behalf but when the enemy came the prayer rise up and said no it has been forbidden that it will not happen in your life Amen. Prayer. Prayer. Hallelujah. Prayer. There are many people that are in faith today. Not because they just came. Somebody prayed them into faith. Mm. And said you must come to Christ. Mm. Uh, who, what, who is that unbeliever? You can pray him to Christ. You need to pray. You cannot go to hell. You are forbidden to go to hell. In the name of Jesus. You must receive Christ. The 
loss must come. Are you hearing? When you begin to pray, heaven begins to move. Weapons of warfare. The third weapon that you have is your praise. Somebody shout praise. praise. Come on, somebody shout praise. praise. Come on, somebody shout praise. praise. The Bible says in the book of 2 Chronicles chapter 20 from verse 21 to 22. As they began to praise, Kaboza Nemoja Dabroske. Hallelujah. 2 Chronicles chapter 20. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Lord, we give you praise. We give you glory. Kanamozu Namboji Dabroske. Are you here? And when he had consulted with the people, he appointed those who should sing to the Lord and who should praise the beauty of holiness as they went out before the army and were saying praise the Lord for his mercies endures forever hallelujah as they begin to praise the Lord something happened now when they began to sing and to praise the Lord set ambush against the people of Ammon against the people of Moab against the people of Mansia who had come against Judah and they were defeated. They were what? Defeated. As they begin to sing, as they begin to praise the Lord, as they begin to give him all the glory, praise the Lord for he is good, his mercies endure forever. Our God is good. He is a mighty man in battle. He never lost the battle. Lord, we worship you. Lord, we praise your holy name. As they begin to praise the Lord, as they begin to give him the glory, the Bible said the Lord said, ambush. Hallelujah. Spiritual warfare. They didn't use a weapon. There was no ass. There was no cutlass. There was no AK-47. <laughs> Hallelujah. Just praise. As they begin to praise, the Lord set an ambition. They were cornered. Come on, somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. And the Bible said they were defeated. They were defeated. Praise. Weapons of warfare. Amen. If you are not praying and you are not praising, what are you doing? You are talking. Gossip. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Complaining and murmuring. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Your third weapon, the anointing. Somebody shout the anointing. The anointing. The, anointing. the Bible says Isaiah chapter 10, verse 27. The anointing. The anointing. Somebody will say, I am not anointed. Who tell you? Hallelujah. Mark chapter 16, verse 18 says, The power has been given to you to tread upon scorpion and upon serpent. Who tell you you are not anointed? If you are not anointed, then where will the power come from? How can God say that you are you are empowered to tread upon scorpion and serpent when you are not anointed? Hallelujah. The anointing. The Bible says, Isaiah chapter 10, verse 27. Are you there? By the anointing. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Isaiah chapter 10, verse 27. The Bible says, It shall come to pass in that day that his burden will be taken away from your shoulder and his yoke from your neck and the yoke will be destroyed because of the anointing on because of the anointing because of the anointing whose yoke and whose body is god talking about satanic yoke and satanic bodies Ooh. hallelujah Amen. god said it shall come to pass they shall be taken away why by the anointing praise the lord hallelujah. by the anointing when you go into spiritual warfare and you begin to apply the anointing of god they have no choice. That body has no choice than to be lifted. And the yokes have no choice than to be broken. Is somebody hearing me? The yokes are what? Broken by the anointing. Hallelujah. These are weapons of your warfare. These are weapons that you can use to destroy the enemy. Hallelujah. 
You can kill without license. Spiritually. Yeah. Hallelujah. Take it to the prayer. Take it to your room. And say no. No. This thing cannot happen. No. It must not. It can't. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 